Today I'm here to do a haul because for the past month, as you know, I've been living in Tokyo and there are shops everywhere. Generally, I don't go shopping that often anymore, but while I was here, it was so difficult not to pick things up and I ended up getting quite a few things. I'm surrounded by them, as you can see. I've got so many questions from you, what shops I went to while I was here, just overall about my outfits. So I figure I would just show you everything I got. I guess I should address this stop. I got this from Dizid. And it actually has a pretty weird sentence on it, but I thought it was cute, so I got it. But I'm gonna go straight away into accessories. The first thing is by Override, which is a head shop. And I saw this boy cup. I keep forgetting how they are called. You can actually adjust it in the back over here. It's so important to me because usually I buy hats online and 90% of the time they arrive and I send them back because they just don't fit my head. And so with this, we're gonna hear Felix in this video. I apologize about that. The other accessory is from this flamingo shop. I think it's a chain of secondhand stuff because I saw them here and there. And for a long time, I was looking for a pair of Dr. Martens. I wanted them to be secondhand because I heard that Dr. Martens are really hard to break into. And I saw this pair. I'm not too sure what the model is. So if anyone has a clue, please let me know. I don't really know much about Dr. Martens. They kind of look like baby slash clown shoes, but because I never seen this model before, I thought they were just very interesting. So I grabbed them. And some people on my comments, when I posted them on Instagram, were like, oh, that's so nasty buying secondhand shoes. But hey, clean them, wear some socks, you'll be fine. All right, now let's move on to tops. I have quite a few. The first one I'm gonna show is by the brand W Closet. It's a really cute, simple, creamy top, and it has this red stripe and frills. It has like that warm and soft feeling to it, but it's short sleeve. But luckily, I also got something for the warmest days. This is by the brand Snidal, which again, never heard of before. It was in a mannequin in a shop, and I really liked it right away. It's just so, so cute. I love all the little embroideries, and it's so sweet. I got this by the brand Kobe Nine. I'm really hoping that the weather gets a little bit better so I can actually wear these finger crossed. Then we have this blouse by the brand Moosey and it has these really puffy sleeves. They are all ruffled, it's super oversized and when I wore these on Instagram, so many of you asked about it, so now you know. I think this may be the final blouse I got. It's all white, it's ruffled again and off the shoulder. It's a preference of mine. This is kind of like a pirate shirt, but I'm all about that because I've been wearing these so, so, so often. It's so comfortable and light and it just goes with everything. It's so easy to wear. Oh, and that's by the brand Hello UFO, which is the same as this dress. I believe it's a Korean brand and I found it in Shibuya 109, but this dress, it's a long midi dress. It's super oversized. It falls off one shoulder and it has this built in to kind of keep it up. And actually the stripes go in two different directions, which gives it a bit of an edge. Now I'm gonna move on to the clothes that I wore in my Okinawa trip. Again, so many of you had questions about them. The one piece that you guys didn't really get to see was this bathing suit. It was underneath my dress, but because it was kind of cold and never got to actually wear it. I got to cover that up with this dress and this seemed to be the most favorited favorited it's kind of like a beach cover-up and it only came in a medium size so I could only wear this in Okinawa because the dress kind of opens in the front and it just shows everything so I think I'm probably gonna wear this with some jeans if I'm not at the beach, just to make sure everything is safe. And it's by the brand, can't find the tag, Odok. So from the same, I got these jeans and they have such a great fit on me. These came in a smaller size, so they fit me much better. And again, these are a piece that I've been wearing so, so much during this trip. The final pair of pants are by Comme des Garçons. They have this London pattern all across. I'm not gonna lie, they are a bit tricky to style, but every once in a while you can have some fun. Now over here, we have a purchase from L'Atelier du Savon. And from there, I got this denim pinafore dress. I find it to be so easy to throw on and it's such a sweet silhouette and I don't really have anything that looks like this so definitely a great find. All right and now we made it to the last two items they are both 
hoodies. Well, this one I already talked about is this Fila sweatshirt that I got secondhand again. But the second one is for men actually and is by the brand Magic Stick. Felix brought me there because he was looking for this specific shop. And when I saw this, I just really liked it because it says hello in this edgy way. I usually steal Felix hoodies so I just figured I would just get one for myself in black and instead he really liked the pink one so we decided to get one each so we can match. I got already so much use out of most of these pieces so I'm definitely gonna miss shopping here in Tokyo but it might also be a good thing to slow down for a bit. But yeah these are all the clothes I bought and I'm gonna go now. I will see you very soon. Bye!